Hi, Zizrin here with another video and today we're going to talk about tips and tricks for six linking. So there are a lot of different ways to six sync and we're going to cover a lot of them, especially the ones that we do on solo cell phone because on trade league you have a lot of options like buying because on solo cell phone you will have to find your own. So and, and a lot of those tips will help people that are playing trade as well. So like I said, buying one early can be really good. Sometimes you can get, especially low item level six things, pretty cheap, and it might be a good investment for the early currency you find, might affect your build a lot. And even cheaper, corrupted six things can be really, really cheap. And it's important to note that you can change the colors of a corrupted item in your crafting bench. You can even choose uh, the change the sockets and links, etc. And remember, there are things like tainted chromes, tainted fusings, etc. So there are things we can do now with corrupted items. And yeah, particularly easy for four volubs and four chromes, you can do things like one red, one green, or one blue. Now, there are quite a different ways to RNG into a six link. We're not going to cover those super in depth. But for example, a rare monster can have the reward it drops a bunch of six things or like everything that it drops is six things. So if something is six socketed, it will by default then buy six thing. And there is one the combo you can get where it is everything is six socketed, everything is six linked or max links, max sockets. Uh, and then you might have seen players dropping like this where you get 20, 30, six links. You can even get more. I think the most I've dropped is like 10 or 12 six things from one monster. Now, those are very R&D and there's not much you can do to influence it other than adding more rare monsters like Harbinger can be really great. However, you can also run Vol side areas, both by putting in a Vol fragment into your map device, like a singular one with no map, that'll open a Vol side area, or you can also run um, Vol side areas that you either find in your maps or that you find uh, during the campaign at a level 50 or higher. And uh, that's because one of the outcomes of corruption is that it's max links. So. That could be a good thing too early on. Another thing that I really like to do early on is to try to farm um, Kirak. So every time I see that Kirak has the one that it says, I don't actually have one right now, but it'll say something like, find a stack of divination cards. And then I will look up on divcards.io. And uh, this is usually pretty up to date. And I will just like click for the map. So I'm like, let's say residence. And then here at residence, says uh loads of different maps here dapper prodigy six link body armor item level 100 so this could be really good it also has like the nimbus card so you know could get really good things now an interesting thing about the fine stack of full or fine full stack of divination card mon what that does is it actually bypasses if it's a boss drop so that means that if the boss has a really cool card like um some of them are boss drops for like the 12 divine card or something like that um you can actually get that from this as well so this isn't a surefire way to get it is very very decent to get both dapper prodigy and the chains that bind from this or because they're not crazy rare cards things like apothecary or uh like those kinds very very hard to get now on top of that this is particularly something used when playing explosive arrow and it's really good when there's a map early that you really want to farm for a div card. So let's say that if you're explosive arrow or any bow build that wants to use a six thing short bow, we have the courtyard that drops the porcupine and that gives us that card. It's very, very farmable. And then you look at what maps are next to it. So we have grotto, colonnade and waste pool. So, you know, you can then choose a second map and bounce between them. But let's say that, um, for tier five, we only complete courtyard. So out of all these map courtyard is the only one we complete. Now there's nothing you can do to uncomplete maps. So this is something you have to like start your mapping strategy with and keep this in mind. Uh, and sometimes there'll be a good map next to it that you want to farm. So let's say that waste pool also had something good. Then we could do waste pool as the only tier six map. Then you'll basically be even early on without favorite maps, be able to bounce quite regularly between these. And I end up just like completing, like in this scenario, I've completed all my tier fours, three, two, and one, and six and seven. And then whenever I'm completing sixes, especially every, uh, or sorry, sevens, especially every tier five that drops will be courtyard because sevens doesn't have any tier five as an adjacent map. You do end up getting quite a lot of maps this way. And yeah, bouncing between them can be good. Now in this scenario, there's no uh, adjacent map that's particularly good. You could do grotto early for fusings. But uh, yeah, at least having Courtyard as your only tier five, you will stack up quite a lot of those. And while you're running this strategy, running things like Incursion, etc., Bestiary, like anything you can throw in the map, 
and in that particular map, we'll, uh, we'll just add a bigger chance to find the div cards you want. Now, another thing that was very, very popular in Path of Exile was to farm the Blood Aqueduct for a top of the Rasta. That's really fallen out of fashion, and the reason for that is just a nerf to the drop rate of both an actual tabula, but also the divination cards. So now we'll see that um, before, back in the day, a character would maybe only have to farm to somewhere between level 70 to 73 to get a full stack of humility. And then they nerfed it a little bit where it maybe you'd have to farm a few extra hours and your character, while getting slower and slower XP, it gets very exponential, it would maybe take you till level 75 to get a full set of humility. Or maybe even worse with bad luck. Now, honestly, I think your character would get as high as 77, 78, and you're probably looking at a 6 to 10 hour grind. Like, it's... Very, very low drop right now. With all the characters I've had, I've only found five humility cards in Blood Aqueduct. And that's between three characters. Not very worth it. Tainted fusings are very good. And remember, you can corrupt an item and hope that it gets a good implicit. This is particularly good on things that there are a lot of or things that are common. But there is a beast that will corrupt something and put it 30 quality. So if you do have something that you really wanted to be corrupted so you can 6 thing it easier, but you don't want to risk the breaking chance and you're okay with just getting 30 quality, you can 5 link it, use the beast, it has a 0% chance to break, it just will corrupt it and make it 30% quality, and then you could use the Tainted Fusing and hope that you 6 thing it. Another strat that I really like, and I think this is slightly underrated, is opening up legion early on and i don't particularly care for clearing legion when i'm not specced into it i don't think it's very rewarding but i do always early they open up legions and i look for the incubator sign and the reason for that is the geomancer uh incubator is quite common so very early and in a lot of leagues i've had a six thing early from doing that Another thing to note as well is when you are linking an armor, the quality does matter. This isn't some myth, which a lot of people believe it is. It literally tells you in the gray text on the fusing that the item's quality influences it. So if you're using fusings on a zero quality item, it is 1 in 1500 average to 6 link. If you're using fusings on a 20 quality item, it is 1 in 1200. And if you're using on a 30 quality, I can't remember if it's 1 in 1,000 or 1 in 800 fusings on average to link, but that means that once you have a 30 quality item, it's definitely not worth to bench it anymore. Generally, I would only say you should bench it if you're only going to 6 link one item that league. But over an average of like 5 to 10 6 links, you're always going to beat the odds off the bench. And in all my time playing Path of Exile, I think the most fusings I've used was around four or 5,000. And obviously in, in that time, you also get some where you just throw a few fusings on and you hit a six thing. But the important lesson there is that quality matters. So remember, you can get quality on weapons with Hillock on transport. And for armors, it's Hillock on fortification. Either way, I hope this helps you find some good six things for League Start. Good luck. Hope you guys are having a great time in Affliction. Thanks for watching. So if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.